Welcome to the Weather Guru Podcast for October 27, 2022, Thursday, for the lower 48 United States. I'm your host, the Weather Guru. Thank you for joining me on this podcast. Please be sure to subscribe and support. Donate to this channel for the latest weather news in the United States. So here we go. We're going to be looking at the current satellite radar for composite forecast. So right now, we don't have much going on. Just a bunch of showers in the, cent- in the nation's heartland, extending from the St. Paul, Minneapolis, Missouri area, down through Nebraska, Kansas, and Oklahoma City. These showers are non-severe in nature, but will continue to provide heavy rainfall for that area. And they actually need it because a lot of the area in North Texas and the Panama in Texas and the plains east of the Rockies are in a drought condition. And so this would really help out with the drought condition. Watch out. There's some lingering snowfall showers as you head along I-25 north of the Raton Pass and into the Sangre de Cristo Mountains and the uh, southern mountains of Colorado. Snow showers will continue in the higher elevations um, west of the Continental Divide. So the big three ski resorts of Vail, Breckenridge, up there in Summit County, you guys are going to get another additional 6 to 10 inches of snowfall overnight tonight. So that's great news for the ski resorts that are opening up in this coming week. Elsewhere, we do have some showers that are in the Pacific Northwest region. So uh, Seattle, Portland, uh, Seattle, Portland, and the Columbia River Gorge and those areas east within the Willamette Valley. Um, you guys have had an extended uh, period of nice weather, warm, above average temperatures. All of that's coming crashing down. Temperatures are going to go back to the 50s for highs with showers continuing to plummet their way into the Puget Sound and elsewhere. So in Seattle, Everett, Tacoma, Olympia, or the peninsula there, uh, you're going to continue to see showers continuing to come in that area as of tonight and tomorrow morning. Elsewhere, we have a clear skies and beautiful conditions uh, for fall foliage viewing in the southern Appalachians um, in Atlanta, Birmingham, Jackson, Orlando, uh, Raleigh, Durham, Charlotte, Richmond, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, New York, Boston, D.C., the I-95 quarter looks absolutely fabulous today. Even the interior, Pittsburgh and the Alleghenies of West Virginia and Ohio, everything looks fabulous today in terms of sunny skies, 70 temperatures in the 60s and 70s and lots of sunshine for the remainder of the week. Now, we'll have some showers coming in with another frontal system that's going to be pushing through, but that's later on in the weekend forecast period here. Hazards for today, according to the National Weather Service, we do have hazards out there in the southwest, and these mostly have to do with high wind warnings and wind advisories, as well as a winter weather advisory, once again, in those high passes coming through Raton Pass, up the I-25, in the southern New Mexico, I mean, southern Colorado from Pueblo, down through those areas there, Trinidad, where you're going to have in Colorado, you're going to have those winter weather advisories and uh, winter storm warnings with the snow up there in those elevations. And high wind warnings as the frontal boundary comes through, a backdoor frontal boundary comes through from, let's say oh el paso to um true for consequences roswell new mexico alamogordo things of those nature now there's also going to be uh there's a hazard we have there's also a high wind warning for the high cut bank montana and Havre, montana just east of the uh, interstate 90 there in the high country there big sky country there is some high wind warnings in effect otherwise everything else is pretty clear and pretty pretty concise nothing to worry about on the hurricane national hurricane center front right now we do have a, a uh, disturbance a tropical wave out in the atlantic that's given a 40 percent chance of development a medium chance of development through five days um this disturbance could develop into something but anything that does develop will be subtropical in nature as we're heading toward the end the last month of the hurricane season in november uh, hurricane season ends november 30th and so we're looking for this to be something significant but you know if it does emerge it'll be a subtropical storm or something like that in the atlantic and it will probably won't affect no the east coast of the united states probably something to worry about for bermuda would be uh, some brief tropical downpours and thunderstorm things that nature but nothing too too heavy there um, as the water temperatures sea surface temperatures are cooling down now as we head toward the end of the year nothing in the eastern pacific so mexico you're clear nothing in the central pacific so hawaii you're clear as well now as we progress the model the gfs model here uh, throughout the next period here, a couple of days here, you can see that we just had that central low developing in the mid Mississippi Valley and moving across the Tennessee and Ohio Valley, and then it kind of fizzles out and loses steam as it gets to the northeast. Then, uh, as we get towards the forecast period about s- to Sunday, we have another few chances of showers to come into the southeast, the northeast there, and along the coastal low there. And then elsewhere, it looks pretty tranquil besides the um, Texas Red River Valley continues to see a low in showers that come in toward the end of the month. And so we don't see a real push of cold air in the next week and a half or so the end of the month of October the temperatures are going to be moderating getting back to average with three-fourths the majority of the country so that is a good news there um, as we head toward the uh, deeper into the fall month here as you can see so this has been your weather guru report current weather conditions and tropical weather conditions for October 27 2022 thank you for listening I'll see you in the next episode take care have a great day